So you can see we're back out here at the off-grid property. I'm going to be working on the pig pen again. If you guys watched the last uh, very last very, last video, I started a little series um, actually a while back, putting the post and stuff in. Maybe I'll put a playlist on there if you guys are interested in that. But um, I started a series of stretching the fence. I got one side done um, last night, and I'm going to start on the back today. Um, but as you can see, I brought the water out here. It's a 275 gallon tote. I think it's 275 gallons. Um, that. I've I've used in the past. They just got shocked. I've used in the past on um, I don't know probably the last four years, and it works. It works awesome. I love it. Um, it's pretty much you set it, walk, fill it up, and forget it type of deal. So I would like to take credit for something. I came up with an idea because um, I couldn't think of a way to put that through the electric fence because it's a foot long. It's like it's like uh, 16 inches long um, the pipe because I had it going through the other fence at the uh, pig pen. So I started thinking like, man, what can I do? to make that where it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, absorb the shock it wouldn't it wouldn't short it out the fence electric fence because i put it through electric fence and uh, i came up with an idea and tell me if you guys think this will work put some pvc pipe around it you know cut it to length and put it around i'm joking i did not come up with that some of you awesome subscribers did i could have acted like i did but i didn't uh, so I, I love it whenever you guys give me good advice because i never even thought about that uh putting pvc pipe around it and i actually have happen to have some from the cabin um, that i can use so i'm gonna cut a foot uh, foot off of it uh the pvc pvc pipe i'm gonna run it through the fence and we're gonna stick it on there and see how, how it does now, i think that was a great idea so whoever there's several people who, uh, who suggested that uh, so if it was you thank you very much those are the ideas that i absolutely love things that i can use that will help me make my life easier and uh, yeah i i just didn't think of that so i'm glad i'm glad you guys are smarter than me and leave me some good comments so let's cut this let's get it set up i'll, I'll start filling it up and then um we'll, we'll work on the fence a little bit and we'll just do a we'll do a vlog out here at the off-grid property today um and uh kind of just enjoy the cooler weather even though you can see i'm sweating like crazy and i say cooler weather it's 80 degrees and it's 9 a.m uh, 9 8 39 9 ish and uh it's starting to heat up pretty quick it's going to be a, a hundred heat index so i'm probably only going to work out here um, for a few hours before it gets too hot and then we got some other things going on uh, but yeah i'm going to try at least knock out that back side
So we've been cleaning out our pantry and um, putting, bringing some old expired food out here to the pigs. And I put, I gave them some oatmeal this morning. And this big pig is laying right in the middle of it, even though they ate a bunch of it already. But they're just laying there licking it. Check this out. I'll set this camera up where you can still see them and you can see me uh, hooking it all up. fence turned off Take a little adjusting here. Well, I think it's gonna work. You all think it's gonna work? You don't really care right now, do you? You will and that water runs dry right there. All right, I'm gonna get the uh, generator going. I'll get the generator going and get the water, uh, start filling this tank up and I'll get to work. Oh my gosh. You're the laziest pig I've ever had, I think. That's funny. It's literally just laying there eating. The other one's like, I don't think so. Get out of here. Just in time to look how thirsty. You're gonna get hurt and fall head in there, head first in there. Okay.
Boy, it did not take long for them to figure out that water. Um, the only thing is, one of them kind of got shocked um, while they were doing it. I don't know if it was they, their ear touched the fence or somehow electric shock is going through there. Still, I'll, have to, I'll mess with it here in a little bit. So I hope that doesn't detour, detour them from using it. Um, but yeah, they, they figured it out pretty quick. I put a little piece of banana on there for them. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, um, I determined I have to pull the fence down there on that end um, because I already got the fence up right here. So I'm gonna drive the Ranger around get everything set up then i'm going to push this fence all the way down there and then attempt to flip it over so once i get it flipped over and and all that then i will show you guys hopefully pulling it and uh we'll see how it goes because there's a cross brace down there too so i've never i've never pulled a fence um where there was like an l-shaped uh cross um so it might be well it might be a little different <laughs> so i'll show you because i'm pulling from the inside um i don't want i could weave it in but I don't want to take a chance. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I could run the wire all the way up to here and then weave it, weave it out this way like this and then pull it that way. But I don't want to take a chance of putting too much pressure on this post and bending it, breaking it or something like that. And then I'd still have to figure out how to get it on this other side. Um, I guess it wouldn't be that big of an issue to have it weaving out and just come through here. That, that might be okay if I can prevent myself from um, damaging that that post I'm um, like it's still wired up right here wrap it around because it's gonna be a little difficult because of this H H brace to actually get a good solid pull on the inside where we're wanting to do it so I'm just gonna have to think it over a little bit I can well all I on that other one I cut that top the very top of the fence um, to fit the top goes up the, the very top would go over here and all the rest of the fence goes underneath it so that might be what i do just cut that top one i could still get a good pull down below on that so i think that's what we're going to attempt so i'll set the camera up get everything ready and uh, show you guys attempting this <laughs> it's already hot and humid out here it's crazy crazy oklahoma i just i'm just hoping that one little shock on on their nose didn't keep them from wanting to get some more water over there i'll, I'll go over there in a little bit and test that put my hand on the actual water the the metal part itself and see if there is a shot going through there i think i think their ear might have touched the fence but we'll see How are those plants looking, Hopi? They're, they're just Is there a little squash growing? Yeah, but there's a bug. There's a bug on it? Yeah, there's bugs. Let me see. On them. Okay, that's not squash bugs, so we're okay. It's getting bigger. There's you a tomato. Is it getting bigger? It looks about the same. Yeah. yeah. That middle, they're all growing. Let's water You want to water a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. I 
wonder where they are. Put a little bit on these other ones too. I wonder where they are. I don't know. We'll have to find it. Put the rest of that one. So the plants are looking good. This is, uh, as you can probably tell, the next day um, on this vlog. I've been working, I brought some reinforcements. I brought my help out here with me today. Um, but I've been working, I don't show you, I filmed just a little bit while we're out, while I'm out here. Um, a little bit of what we're doing. Hey Hayden, Hayden's in the car. Um, a little bit of what we're doing each time. Um, it's just so hot right now here in Oklahoma. Kind of crazy. Uh, we, I don't get, I don't work a whole lot out here. Um, we do, I do what I can, I don't, I don't overdo it because Last thing I want to do is when I'm here by myself, just pass out because it's so hot. <laughs> but uh, we've been I've been drinking tons of water. Um, but we're gonna finish this uh, back section, and um, we got some stuff going on today. So we won't be out here very long. Came out here to check on the pigs. Their new water is doing great. They they uh, I just tested a minute ago, and they're drinking. Look at that one's just sleeping in the water. Do you see that, Hopi? Yeah. I didn't see that till Hopi said something. It, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. You just did this Look at it. <laughs> he nodded at you. Yeah. He said, "What's up?" What's up? What's thing? That's funny. Yeah. Aren't they getting big? Yeah. So yesterday, I pretty much uh, my main focus was getting the water all set up, um, and then I got this fence set up where I needed to to stretch it. I just got to cut some of the top wire. Then I'm hooking it up to the Ranger. I know in my last video I said I couldn't pull up the Ranger, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to hook I'm going to hook a, um, a strap to the front of it into a tree so it can't pull it, and we'll go with that way because I can't get my truck back in here. Um, the last the if I can't if this doesn't work, then I'll hook I'll try to hook the whole pulley system up to a tree and pull it tight. But I'll show you a little bit of this getting tight, um, and then we'll go from there. Huh? I know they're everywhere, ain't they? I see a lot of those out here.
Okay, uh, that worked actually putting up that uh, strap on the front of the Ranger then uh, strapping it down here I got this pretty dang tight um, It's as tight as I, I need it or I want it and I'll, let me show it to you I don't know how, how good you can tell on video how tight that is but It's probably about as tight as the other side and uh, it's one of them things one more One more little crank could always mess something up. So when you get satisfied with it uh, you better just stop right there because I've I've been there on the other side of that where just one more time and something breaks Then you're starting over from scratch. So yeah, I'm gonna hammer this up get it secure What do you think Hadley? Good. You gonna help me hammer some up? Sure. Okay. That's hot. It is hot isn't it? Let's get some water then we'll finish this. You want to? Sure. Okay So here's what I had to end up doing is Cutting a little gap out right here to put that over kind of like on the other one and down there too. See me now, one and get me now. As soon as you see me do it, you gotta hit me.
Really? Hey, come here. <laughs> so crazy pigs. Woo, okay, it's another human one today. Um, let me show you just how humid it is here in Oklahoma. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you can tell how my hat's just soaked. But my pants are too. It looks like I completely peed my pants. It's bad, bad humid. Uh, the girls started to get little little seed ticks on them. We sprayed down, um, so we picked them off of them. I just had them sit in the, had them sit in the car um, until I got that finished up. But they were some pretty good help today, handing me the staples and they, they want they like coming out here and helping and as soon as we get moved out here they're gonna be helping me a lot and I think I think the I think the girls uh, enjoy it uh, probably more just spending time with me I'm, I'm hoping anyways but let's see what they're doing they're sitting in the AC we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here what are you princesses doing I had four tips did you get them off of you I had one hey did you get any no why not she didn't get out. oh geez thanks for all the help girls You're welcome. How you doing? Thanks. <laughs> you guys want to close it out? Uh, Go ahead. Smash that like button. Please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and give me a huge thumbs up. <laughs> See you girls. Bye. Bye.